lovelies it's me Kikles, and welcome back to our channel so we are here in Cass right now with the Ashmore family and we are just going to be giving them slight makeovers for the party tonight um, it is currently Saturday at about 9 30 so we're kind of a little bit late and overdue for the party but however I really hope that it can still go down I'm I think we might have a slight change of plans though I think we might be instead of having like that dinner party which we can eventually do sometime we've got plenty of time to do it and we could do it at a later time I think we're actually going to do maybe um like a party like a dance party or something at the clubs I'm not too sure however it just depends on what they both feel like um what they feel like doing you know um so this is Liv's um party wear for the night it's just this really tight fitting dress with these little stiletto heels I'm kind of not feeling the way that they point out at the front though so I think I might change it to something a little bit more like open toed or something of that kind um what about these ones no I don't like those ones I want to do some custom content shoes so yeah um let me just fill you in on what's happened off camera so Played a few days off camera, and in that time, Matilda came over, which is, um, which is, um, what's her name? Valerie's daughter, um, which is pretty much Karen's apple of his eye, pretty much, which really sucks. But yeah, she came over to the house, you guys, and um, she gave Tina some news that possibly made, well, it did make Tina feel really mad. Um... <laughs> you guys are never gonna guess what's happened Valerie is pregnant with Kieran's baby she's pregos yeah I know she's pregnant mm -hmm. I know just just take a moment to process that yeah so Ooh. Tina was actually quite annoyed um not at the fact of like Matilda coming over and telling her well, actually, yeah, it was. It was the fact that she came over and told told her why couldn't her dad come over, you know? And it was really, really heartbreaking for her because, you know, it's it's bad enough that her father doesn't contact her and just doesn't make the effort and has just totally abandoned her, per se. Um, it, it sucks. It really sucks. It really sucks. And I really feel for her really feel for Tina um she's not taking the news all that well um before when we jumped in creator sim she was feeling really tense about the whole situation and she couldn't believe it she was like oh no I don't believe you and um Matilda was like yeah you've got to believe me it's it's real it's real it's real as you'll ever get you know and um of course Tina believes her um Tina would love to go over to the house tomorrow and actually find out if it's true or not so yeah because I mean she does believe Matilda why else would Matilda come over and tell her otherwise it's just that she thinks that maybe Matilda is being a bit of a <laughs> excuse my language a bit of a shit stirrer um and yeah because Matilda like we all know that Matilda's a is is just loves drama and stuff um so i'm really keen to find out tomorrow if that is their case or not um i honestly don't know if val is pregnant you guys so it's going to be a total shock for me if if she is actually pregnant or not um but it was just really really like bizarre like matilda just like left and she was like, okay, I've got to go now, Tina, bye. And and that was because they started fighting and stuff. And, of course, Liv came out. And she was like, you girls, just break it up, you know. Okay, I think that's really nice, actually. I actually really like that outfit on her. Um, I'm actually going to change up her everyday wear really quick as well, if we can. I'm actually going to do just a really, um, maybe just a cute dress or some pants or something like that. Yeah. Um, just get rid of these shoes. Um, what are we going to do? I feel like maybe doing something like this. Hmm. Or just some flats, maybe. I don't want to spend too long in Creator Sim. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't I don't want to spend too long in Creator Sim at all. I just um, kind of want to just change her up a little bit. Um, I actually really like those shoes. I'll do those ones. And I think I'll do this tiny little top here. And maybe just some high-waisted shorts or something. Because it is coming into the hotter months now. And, um... That's actually really cute. I actually really like that. I really love that outfit. Um, 
I'm not feeling the top though with that. I'm just not. I feel like we need a longer top or something. Like that. But in black. I feel like it's too low though. Hmm. What would Tina wear? That is really cute. I actually like that outfit, you guys. I actually really like that outfit. So I'm actually going to do that one. And change her lip colour to something a little bit more... Um, just more natural and we'll give her some lashes so yeah how have you guys been let me know down below in the comments how you guys have been and um, what you guys have been up to because I really want to know so yeah it's just going to be really interesting to, we've got so much happening this part we really have and um, I don't know you guys I don't know if um, I don't know if Val is pregnant ah. And, yeah, I, I just don't know, you guys. What what do you guys think? Do you guys think she is pregnant? Or do you think that um, we have kind of a little um, a little battle on our hands with Matilda? Do you think she's lying to us? I don't know. I, I honestly get this vibe that she may be actually trying to just cause a bit of drama. But I don't know. At the same time, I feel like she could be telling the truth. So the only way to know is to just go and find out tomorrow, which we'll go do. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm really happy with those outfits. Awesome. So there's just some quick outfit changes really quick. And we're going to have this dance party or like da dance party or like dinner party. It won't be a dinner party. It'll be like a house party because um, it's kind of too late for a dinner party because Matilda came over and there was drama and we had Jade Rosa come over for a bit and Liv wasn't just feeling herself she was actually feeling quite upset because um, just seeing her daughter just get into a fight wasn't exactly the nicest thing to see um, so where is my Tina okay Tina can you get into your party wear too please thanks my girl we're gonna turn this off and we are going to plan that social event if we can. Um, plan a social event. There we go. We're going to plan that social event. Um, Tina, not Tina, Liv went out last night and she actually met quite a few ladies. And so we're going to invite them over. So should we do a dance party? Hit the town with your friends, plan a night of dancing at the local nightclub or or remote locations create mm, should we do a dance party it is saturday i think we're gonna do a dance party maybe yeah i think we're gonna do a dance party you guys so we can only invite 12 sims so we're also gonna do our daughter tina we're gonna do clara we'll do tiffany because we're really 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 good friends with tiffany and bella goth and maybe mariah and I really like to invite, where is she? Myla and Faith and possibly Brooklyn. Oh, and we also meet Damien. He's quite cute too. Um, oh, can we do more? Um, obviously not going to invite Valerie. <laughs> obviously not going to invite her. I think I've got everyone. Yeah, I think I've got everyone. Okay, cool. So we've got nine girly girls ready to go. Okay, so we are going to choose our location now. It could be at the Blue Velvet. We could go to Windenburg. We could go to the Von Hunt, Von Hunt Estate. We could go to the Bluffs. I really want to go to the nightclub though. Um, so I think I'm going to hit up this nightclub here. And we're going to go to Winterberg and we're going to see what happens because that's just awesome. <laughs> oh gosh, you guys, I can't wait to see all the ladies in the outfits. Really can't. Really, really can't. It's just going to be so exciting. So yeah, and then tomorrow we're going to be going on that date with Wyatt. And then we'll go over with Tina if we have enough time, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 7,000 simoleons and you have 48 hours to pay them. So we are going to just go ahead and pay our bills because we just <laughs> got lots of money to blow. Awesome. Pay the bills. Yay, that's awesome. Cool, cool. So we're going to come in here now and it is 10.15. Um, before we dance, I want to come up here with with Liv, and I want to um, order um, 
Just a drink. Maybe order my favorite drink. I wonder what that is. Hey, there's, um, I know her. Oh, oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You're touching a booty? Kieran. Hell no. Oh, well. Kieran's going to see Liv and how much she just does not care right now. Oh, you guys. Oh my goodness, she is right there. She's ordering her drink. Kieran's actually quite surprised, actually. He's actually quite surprised. He's like, damn, Liv, you'd be looking fun. Like that booty, though. <laughs> Kieran is like that, though, you guys. And, and the next couple parts, we'll be jumping in and playing Kieran and stuff and finding out his side of the story and stuff. I'm going to talk to my girl... And I'm going to talk to my girl, Brooklyn. And I'm going to ask her about her day and compliment her outfit. Um, and I'm just, just talking, really. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Tina's down here feeling flirty. <laughs> She's down here feeling all kind of flirty. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So we are going to gossip our neighbors to Bella Goth. This is awesome, you guys. Who can she invite she over? Um, hey, Finn. Finn for can she invite anyone? Uh -huh. I'm going to take a selfie real quick. I'm going to take a selfie. Because selfies. Here we go. Yay. Glad we got the can catch. Glad we got the chance to catch up. See you next time. Okay, so Brooklyn, my girl's leaving. And, um... That's all good. That's all good. No judge. No judge. She's just a little bit kind of just unsure about. Um, I really want to get um, maybe the DJ in the background. Heading up the clubs, living life like fearless. <laughs> awesome. Loves it. <laughs> Loves it. So there's my mum's really good friend, Tiffany. So I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to brighten her day. I'm going to do an impression. Oh, she's thinking of the word. <laughs> and um, we're just going to dance together, I guess. What's Liv doing? Oh, she's up here talking to Jeffrey. Oh my goodness, he's getting jealous. Jealous, jealous, jealous. Tina's going to come up here and she is going to order some pretzel. And we're going to just... Oh my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. <laughs> I just can't believe this is happening. Um, Liv's going to take a selfie real quick as well. And Karen's just like looking at her, like giving her the eye, you guys. Stop drinking my drink. I just want to take that selfie in front of Karen. <laughs> no key is given. No key is given. Oh my goodness, trust him to turn up, you guys. This is so funny. Oh, oh don't you even come near me, honey. Don't you even come near me. Oh, whatever. Oh my goodness. Nuh uh. Mm -mm. I'm gonna come down here and dance. Get away from that freak. Oh, look at her. She's in the monks. Everything just feeling all sorts of confident right now. She's going to come up and order her pretzel, though. Um, it's one in the morning. She's just going to order that pretzel real quick. And her father's right there. Ooh. <laughs> just drink your problems away. That's the one. And we are going to order... Order a favorite drink, and um, Kieran's right there. He's gonna be like, "What? You drink? You drink?" She's like, "Yeah, of course I drink, hun. Of course I drink, hun." <laughs> oh my goodness! He is getting on it. He is getting on the puss. <laughs> he really is. He's getting on it. He really is. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's my drink? I need my freaking drink, Baratinda. What's his name? Phoenix, hurry up with the drink, y'all. My dad's sitting right there. I'm kind of just... I'm crapping my pants right now, to be honest. What? You stole our drink. Okay, dad, you want to play it like that? You want to play it like that? I'll steal your drink then, dad. I don't mind. I'll steal your drink. I will. 
He's like, dang, girl. Dang, you changed a lot since you were a baby. <laughs> She's like, I give you the stink face, Dad, and I give you the stink face. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, see you later. <laughs> Look at Liv down here. She is living for it right now. Here's Travis. We're going to brighten his day. We're just going to talk to the girls, though. There goes Kieran. He's kind of a bit drunk. We're just chatting to the girls right now. It's really cool. Look, he sees us having a great time. Ha ha ha. We haven't talked to our friends. Like our, one of our best friends. Let's come over here and talk to our girl, Tiffany. Tell an engaging story. Get to know. So the party will be ending soon, but we had a really great night. And it looks like Tina is just going downstairs to use the rest room. And um, what can she do? Try a new outfit? <gasps> Ooh. Um, let's try a new party outfit together. Oh, here comes the girls. Oh, 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 hell no. <laughs> try a new outfit party. Oh my goodness. Ooh, try a new outfit party dance. together. Let's try. Oh my goodness. I <laughs> I love it. Um try a new outfit party. Just keep trying on outfits, Tina. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tina. I thought I called it Ivy. That's actually a really cute outfit. Oh, that is cute. I love it. Let's try on a new everyday wear. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what was that notification? Liv can now... Oh, yay, she reached level two. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Get that perfect everyday wear, girl. Come on. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Try on a new everyday wear. Please find something that's really cute. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I love it. I love it. I freaking love it. Okay, so both girls are going home now. Um, they've had a really big night and it's like 7 in the morning. We need to be getting home. So we're just going to quickly run on home really quick. Okay, and Liv should be coming home soon. Liv, come on. Let's just go home, okay? Let's just go home, all right? Oh, that was a really cool night, you guys. We had so much fun with our daughter. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. Ah, yes. So cute. All right, so we're going to go home, get some sleep, and we will be going on a date with Wyatt tomorrow. So that is all sorts of greatness. So let's just hurry up with this loading screens, please. Please. Thanks. Okay. Oh, oh, she's bored? The audience is not just feeling the beat. Maybe some more DJ skill is needed. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, so she's going to go toilet. She's going to grab something to eat and go to bed. Um, I would really like um, Tina to grab something to eat as well. They're actually not feeling too tired. Liv's actually feeling more tired than um, than Tina right now. Um, she's actually feeling pretty bored. All that drinks just gone to her. <laughs> it was actually a really great night. A really freaking great night, actually. We had so much fun. So, so much fun. Tina's actually not feeling too bad. But um, she's going to grab something to eat. And um, I think we could just squeeze in the dates soon, actually, um, before we go to sleep. Um, we're just going to talk to our daughter, get to know her, and just give her a heartfelt compliment and stuff. Um, no, you're not going to go sit there. You're going to eat your mac and cheese, please. Um, so yeah, she's feeling great, and I think while she's still feeling pretty great, I think we should um, 
maybe ask him out on a date. I think that's in much, much needed. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Wyatt. And um, we're just telling Tina right now that we're going out on a date and we'll be back a bit later on. Um... Yeah, we're just going to go on that date just to see how Liv and Wyatt connect. And, um, yeah, she's feeling really happy because of her house and because of her daughter and just because of her relationships she's made, like, her friendships and her girlfriends. And, oh, she's just so happy. I love Liv. I really do. She's such a strong, independent woman. And um, I just love everything she stands for. Okay. I think we're going to go somewhere really, really, really casual. And we're just going to go and hit up the park nothing too fancy and I just feel like Liv and I don't know Liv and Wyatt are just so cute together I just I have no idea I have no idea who she's more compatible with and I guess this date is the best way to find out so um yeah let's go all right so we need to socialize with our date 10 times so this here is Wyatt he is in much need of a makeover however it is actually all about how they connect and stuff. So we're going to go over here and we're going to give him a heartfelt compliment. And um, we're just going to kind of just chat to him really because we haven't really got to know him all that well. Um, we're going to brighten his day. We're going to get to know this man because we don't really know anything much about him. And I feel like I should maybe change my outfit to my everyday wear. Just something more casual rather than the party wear. Oh, okay. Liv has learnt the following traits that he is lazy. He is lazy. Okay. We will discuss those dance techniques and boast about family. Um, we we'll have a deep conversation with him. And I really want to come, like, sit somewhere just really private, somewhere secluded away from everyone. Um, if we can sit maybe somewhere around here, that would be quite nice um there's got to be like a seating okay we should maybe come like sit under this tree here let's go here and we will sit and chat together i think this is a really nice location to go here and and, and sit and talk to each other and um yeah i think it's really nice is he coming is he coming where is he? Okay, there he is. I was like, is he not coming? Um, we'll gossip a bit and we'll ask him if he is single because that is the worst case scenario. Um, girl, I'm sorry, Tiff, but you're going to have to leave, my girl. I'm, I just, we're on a bit of a date right now. I'm, I'm sorry, hun. Um, can you just leave? Um, oh, no. Um... I just want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to you. Um, let's join. Um, can we like move her from the group? Well, she's not even in our group, so whatever. Um, we'll just concentrate on Wyatt. We'll give him a hug and we will tell an engaging story. Um, oh, who's this girl over here? I love her here. She's really pretty. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I love it. No, I just want to talk to Wyatt. It's your secret. Joke about old times. Sorry, Felicity, but you're going to have to kind of... Oh, not Felicity. Why do they call her Felicity? I don't know. Tiffany, you're just going to have to kind of wait. Reveal a deep secret. So they're actually getting on really well together. Um, Can we travel with our date? No, we can't. Um, have both sims be flirty at the same time? Oh my goodness. Can we just like go here together? Get away from Tiffany. Oh, I love this girl. I love that girl. I love Tiff. But it just, oh, she's gone anyways. I just need to talk to this man. I, we're on a date and I feel like it would be rude to kind of just talk to Tiffany instead of Wyatt, you know? Um, I want to get to know him. Is he single? I think I missed that interaction last time. Um, discuss his interests. Okay, so he is indeed a single man. We want to share... Oh, he needs to pee. Share a secret. And... Maybe we should just maybe exchange numbers. 
see how he feels about that. Tina's just at home caring for herself. Oh, they exchange numbers. <laughs> That's so cute. Ask a risque question. Um, what do we know about him? So he's a slob, he's lazy, and an art lover. His traits really do suck. They're just friends. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't really have good traits, you guys. He really doesn't have good traits. He's lazy. What do we know about um, Mr. Fletcher Manature? Where is he? Okay. Where is... Where is he? There. So we know he is squeamish, neat, and materialistic. Mm, his traits aren't that bad. However, um, what about Damien? Hmm... Maybe neither of them are compatible. Maybe neither of them are compatible, you guys. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I just, like, I don't want to, I don't want to just, like, strob, like, strob off this day, you know? I don't want to just leave him. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm just going to kind of wait for him to maybe finish on the toilet, even though our day is nearly finishing. Um... I, I, I don't I don't know you guys I'm not vibing I'm not vibing with these two I'm just really not vibing I'm actually gonna go cancel the date we only got a bronzed medal which wasn't exactly that great um I'm actually really disappointed in how that date went you guys like I, I wasn't vibing like I wasn't vibing with him like I thought um no I just was not vibing no, 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 no. Uh, I just, as, as it says here, it was a date. It's, if not the most successful date ever, check your Sims household. Like, it wasn't that great, you know? Nothing to rave about. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What about that Damien guy? Hmm. Maybe we should invite him over. See what happens. I mean, we just got back from the date with Wyatt. And he's slob. He doesn't, yeah, he's not that really nice. Like, we've got to get, to, like, we've gotten to know him. And he's not that great, you know. Um, he's nice and everything. But he doesn't have really good traits. And we want someone that, why don't you click on social event? No social event. Um, what if we... Hmm. I'm actually going to have her, like, go to sleep because she's really tired. Um, in terms of the date, I wasn't actually feeling it, guys. I'm just not vibing with it. I'm really not vibing with it. Um, Tina, my girl, you can come out here and you can maybe just come into the garden for a little bit and just maybe sit and appreciate nature for a bit. Liv is going to go upstairs and she is just going to grab herself some Z's. So next part, guys, I think we are going to maybe just kind of call it off with Wyatt. I think we're just going to kind of maybe tell him that we're not interested, maybe brush him off a little bit. Just tell him that we're not really interested at all. He's a slob. He's lazy. He's, he's not going to want to have children with us and he's just not going to be able to, you know, yeah, I, I, I'm just not vibing with him. So we're going to tell him that we're not interested. Um, in terms of who else she knows, we just know Damien and obviously, um, Fletcher. He is squeamish, he's neat, materialistic. I'm not too, like, when I saw Liv and Fletcher together, I wasn't actually sure that they would actually, like, be in a long-term relationship. I feel like it would be just more of just a fling, you know? Um, so that is definitely a thing. Oh, who's this dude? Cameron oh hi send a text <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah I would really like to focus on Liv's relationship next part but also Tina's as well um she also knows Nicholas hmm hmm anyways she's gonna run home grab something to eat for herself and um go home go grab something to eat off you go 
Anyways, guys, I am, of course, going to wrap up this part right on here. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave your suggestions down below for Tina and Liv, who you'd like to see them go on a date with or see them try and get together. I really, really want to focus on in the next part um, on Liv, just, you know, settling her down with some family, trying for a baby. Next part, though, we will also be going with Tina over to Karen and Valerie's house to find out if Valerie is pregnant. And we saw Karen at the bar last night. But the thing is, if things can't be going too well, you know what I mean? Things cannot be going too well there. So we need to go, well, okay. <laughs> we need to go check out uh, what's happening with them too with Tina next part. Anyways, guys, I'm off. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you lovelies next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.